What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are taking a look at the Vinewood Car Club. This is a new property or location in GTA Online that was added with the latest update, the Mercenaries DLC. And right now we're just going to take a quick look at what it exactly is. So first of all it's located over here on the map in the Elysian Islands. And you can already see that in the logo there was a yellow plus. And that's pretty much because all of the features of this Vinewood Car Club is only for GTA Plus members. The first time you go there, you will also receive an email basically explaining to you what you can do there. But I will explain it to you guys right now. And to be honest, it's really not a lot. So everyone can enter it. Also people without GTA Plus. I myself don't have GTA Plus and I also don't plan on getting it. I also don't recommend it to you guys. But when you get in, you will basically see a hangar with 11 cars in it. 10 cars which are parked just sideways like in a garage and then at the end you can see a reward car. If you go up to the regular vehicles, you have an option to inspect the vehicle and then you see drive or purchase. Both of these options are not available for me because I don't have GTA+. Plus. But basically what you can do is you can borrow these vehicles so you can use them to drive around in free mode if you have GTA Plus. Or you can purchase them with a I think 20% discount. So that's the first feature. And then the vehicle at the end currently the monstrosity is a reward that you can claim for free. So GTA Plus members they can use all of these vehicles. They can borrow them. The rewards they can claim it for free. And if they want to purchase one of these vehicles, they can do it with a discount. People who don't have GTA Plus can do nothing. They can just enter this uh, space, but for the rest, that's basically it. I think the main advantage of this is, first of all, the free car, of course. But before this property, GTA Plus members also received free cars. And then the fact that you can borrow cars in free mode uh, without buying them, so you can just drive around with them, no time limit. And sometimes probably there will also be exclusive vehicles here that are not released maybe in the game or also some of the vehicles that have been removed from the game. So there are 188 vehicles that were removed from the websites. Maybe they will also be here and then GTA Plus members will have a advantage. But like I said, it's not worth getting it and I also don't recommend it. So guys, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description and peace out you guys.